who is number one in your life? Maybe you are thinking about your spouse, children, brothers, sisters, or other family members. Where does God rate in your life? In today's Gospel, Jesus provokes us to think about our priorities. He tells us the following words. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. The message of the Lord sounds very tough, not only to us in the year 2023, but it was harsh to those who listened to him 2000 years ago. I guess that's why many of his followers were leaving him as soon as they heard from his mouth a controversial statement. However, the Lord never apologized for his words. He never said, I am sorry if I offended you. Instead, Jesus warned his followers, anyone who does not follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Through today's Gospel, the Lord instructs us on the priorities we must embrace in being His ambassadors to the world. We must be ready to sacrifice for Him important things in life. We must make right decisions and always choose Him even over our own relatives. Obviously, it is not easy to do that, but we have to carry our cross, which will eventually become a sweet burden. To follow Him means to be ready to give up even our lives for Him. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. Our Divine Master wants us to remember that our true home is not here. Our existence on earth is only temporary. Our real home is waiting for us in heaven. Sometimes we cannot imagine our lives without the people we love. Many husbands or wives mourn for years after losing their loved ones. Some of them are angry with God for taking away their lifelong companions. Unfortunately, I must say it, that's not a healthy attitude. To grieve is very important and natural, but if it lasts for many years, it becomes a source of an unhealthy way of living. We simply need to accept God's will and move on with our lives by continuing to do His work. We have to understand that earthly relationships will not last forever. At the moment of our death, everything will change for us as well. We will not be bound anymore to a spouse, parents, friends and others. That's why everything we experience on earth now cannot be in the most important reality. We need to look at other humans and material things through the glasses of eternity. If our relationships with other people and earthly attachments are too strong and don't allow us to have a healthy relationship with God, we need to rearrange our priorities. That's why Jesus said in the Gospel that who loves the family members more than him is not worthy of him. He wants us to look at present life from the perspective of heaven. So many people make a disastrous mistake in their lives. They place material things before their Creator. Sometimes earthly stuff and human beings become more important than God. It is a very dangerous situation. Brothers and sisters, if God is not number one in your lives, nothing else will be working well. That's a simple statement, but how hard it is for many to accept it. Ask yourself today, what is my first priority in life? How do I need to balance my activities and discover God's will for me? Please, pray with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you 
to help me to choose you daily as my Savior and as the most important person before my family and friends. Help me to understand that when you are my number one priority, I will have the best relationships with others. Help me to focus my attention on you and your heavenly kingdom.